And uh, for more on this story, we can now speak to Sten Hagsberg, who is the Associate Professor of Cultural Anthropology at Uppsala University. Thank you for joining us tonight uh, here on the program. Um, I'd like to start by asking, do you think uh, this is an attempted coup? I don't think it is an attempted coup, but, but I think the, the most... Uh, plausible aspect or hypothesis is that this is a question of increasing security uh, preparations, in, in, in strengthening those going to the battlefield, fighting terrorist groups uh, affiliated to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State. Uh, it is also a question of taking care of the victims and their, and their families and so on. So these issues related to the military hierarchy, and this is this dates back to at least two months ago. There was a serious issue, a serious uh, killing of 50 gendarmes in uh, Inates in Burkina Faso, and this led to government reshuffling and also of a new prime minister appointed because this was a clear crisis. So, in a sense, this is, I think, the most plausible hypothesis. Uh, there is also another aspect, and that is related to the fact that uh, Caen, the camp uh, Sangoulet La Misana is also the military prison where you have the uh, coup general Gendere sitting in prison. And also, more recently, just a few a week ago, um, um, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Zungrana, he is also jailed. and. It might be also related to liberating these personalities. We don't know. We don't know. But I, I'm less uh, convinced about it. Right. But more instability isn't uh, good news for Burkina Faso. Do you think that this kind of instability could be an opportunity for the uh, Russian mercenary organization, the Wagner Group, to uh, expand into Burkina Faso? No, I don't think so. Uh, I. I I think that what we see here is is uh, very much an issue of governance issues, internal governance issues, governments of, of the military hierarchy. Uh, uh, there are, of course, links to, to these Russian, uh, uh, Russian mercenaries, but, but I don't think that is, a, that is not an obvious link. I think we should leave that discussion aside. I think this is something much more related to the uh, management of security issues within the country. And what next do you think for Burkina Faso then? Where do you think it's the country is heading following these yeah. events? Yeah, I, I, I must say that let's hope we will not have a coup because a coup would be very, very unfortunate in this situation uh, because uh, the country has been through many kind of warring situations. So uh, one must hope for a kind of more uh, uh, back to a kind of uh, normal political life. And, and because this way of having army soldiers shooting in the air for hours, not just a kind of a few minutes, but really for hours. I mean, this is not very uh, interesting. And of course, what we might expect at worst is that this will be getting even worse and we have the Malian situation. But I think that let's hope that there will be an opportunity now to seize and uh, uh, take more control of the situation. Okay, uh, Sten Hagsberg, thank you very much for uh, talking to us here on France 24.